Well, I'll tell you all a little quick story. So my wife and I, we were together for a good long time before we, uh, I should say we were together for a good long time before I started thinking about getting married. I suppose that's a very guy thing to, to do. So after uh, seven years of dating, seven years of uh, Kiva being quite patient, we started to kind of uh, hint around things, you know, kind of feel each other out. And uh, it kind of seemed like it was, uh, it, was, it was time to get married. And the interesting thing was that uh, I think she sort of arrived at that conclusion about a, about a month before I did. kind of waiting and waiting and you know after all these years together she uh, started to think you know maybe James is just not gonna propose to me maybe this isn't gonna happen you know maybe I need to propose to him and so she actually called up her mom and she said I think I'm gonna propose to James and you know if he doesn't say yes then uh, I'm gonna move on and if he does then I'm gonna get married and her mom said I think that's a good idea you know <laughs> so she went out and she bought me a ring and um, Unbeknownst to her, I was sort of scheming and plotting myself. I had a big gig coming up. At that point, it was sort of the biggest gig that I'd played to date. And so it was a, over at the Mount Tabor Acoustic Room, which is no longer there. They're kind of the uh, Mount Tabor Rock and Roll Room now. Uh, but they used to do acoustic music in there. And I booked a lineup with uh, four of us acoustic sort of uh, singer, songwriter, folky guys. And I thought, I'm going to pack that room, and I'm going to get Kivia up there in front of all these folks, and I'm going to get down on one knee, and I'm going to propose to her. And uh, so she, she kind of was uh, trying to bring the conversation up, you know. I said, I'm just, I'm so busy. I got this big gig coming up. Just hang on, hang on. You know? So I wanted to have a chance to propose to her in front of all those folks. And so I devised this sort of plan to get her to volunteer to help out at the show, so then halfway through the show, I could call her up and say, hey, thanks for volunteering, sweetheart, you know, got this little gift for you wrapped up on the stage. And so she came up onto the stage, and instead of giving her a little gift, I pulled her ring out of my pocket, and, you know, my relatives and friends were crying, and people were clapping, and I didn't really know anything about sizing rings or what her size would be, you know, so I got down on one knee, and I was like, hey, you know, I want you to marry me, and she said, that sounds good, and, you know, then we got the ring, like, that far under her finger. Um, but you know, it was official, it was good. And uh, and then it was cool, I came off the stage and she's like, and here's your ring. And so I had myself a little engagement ring. She'd been carrying it around in her purse, kind of waiting for the right time. And thank God that uh, she didn't beat me to it because I, I don't know, I, I think I would have had to say like no or hang on or wait or something, you know, because you know, I had my big, my big surprise planned. And I wasn't carrying around the uh, ring in my pocket, so I would have been sort of stumped. And, so anyhow, we moved to Nottingham, England shortly thereafter, and uh, I had a chance to do some songwriting, and I uh, had a chance to do some songwriting about that evening, and so uh, this is a little song called Marry Me. I don't need to tell you why now, because you already know the story, but uh, they're all true. Here on stage and 
Mm-hmm. 